Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I am the founder of SugarMDs.com, a new way of managing diabetes. Today, we are going to talk about three facts that no one knows about. Specialist doctors and like endocrinologists will know these things, but most of the time, either they don't have time to explain or one or the other reason, it doesn't go through. So as a patient, I think you have the right to know these three facts that you probably never heard of. Now, I'm going to first summarize these three facts briefly, and then we are going to dive deeper into these facts to understand them better. Now, the first fact is diabetes is a progressive disease. What do I mean by that? Now, think about chronic kidney disease or think about patients on dialysis. They didn't go to dialysis overnight, right? So it took them 10, 15, sometimes 20 years of progressive chronic kidney disease. Diabetes is a progressive disease. It starts with insulin resistance and then you become pre-diabetic and then you become diabetic and then uncontrolled diabetic, insulin dependent diabetic and so forth. That happens and it's very frustrating. Patients come and tell me, doc, why are we keep adding medications? Why my sugars keep getting worse? I'm not changing my diet. I'm trying to exercise more, but my sugars keep getting worse. And I try to explain to them, it is unfortunately a progressive disease. Now there are a lot of ways for you to slow down that progression, but also there are medications that are much, much better or more effective that can actually help you reduce or slow down the progression of the diabetes. So don't be too frustrated. We are all getting old, right? So it is a process. We are progressing. We are born and we progress towards death. So nobody expects to live 200 years. You know we are going to die at some point. Now, diabetes, if you accept it as part of your life and then try to slow it down, just like any other person, if you take care of yourself, you're not going to get old as fast, right? You're still going to be functional in your 70s maybe, or you can just be disabled at 50 if you don't take care of yourself. The same thing applies to diabetes. When you end up with diabetes, that's not the end of the world. It is. It can be a new start for you to obtain a new healthy lifestyle is very important. You do not want to use generic advice or generic medications to try to cover up your high blood sugars. That's not the way to go. Diabetes is a whole spectrum. It's a very philosophical disease. It is not, yes, a lot of people have it, but just because a lot of people have it doesn't mean that it's a normal thing. Just because a lot of people have HIV doesn't mean that they're not suffering from it, right? So you don't want to just take any medication for HIV. You want to take something that will not progress, that will not let you progress to AIDS. Same thing with diabetes. You don't want to just take any medication that is in the market. You want to take something that will slow down the progression. And there are a lot of keys. Now, number two fact. I'm not going to prolong this anymore So because I know you're wondering about the second fact already. Now, the second fact is that patients with diabetes, actually two-thirds of diabetic patients, unfortunately die from heart attacks and strokes or complications of these cardiovascular disorders rather than the classical fears of blindness and dialysis and leg getting cut off etc you can die from an earlier event from a sudden cardiac fat or stroke now i don't want to scare you guys i don't want to give you like a totally great picture here but what i am trying to say which we'll talk about next is how to avoid these complications now the third fact is that there is legacy effect in diabetes care so what is legacy effect that is actually a well-known scientific fact in diabetes world. Legacy effect means that the first 10 years in your diabetes have a major and a long-term effect down the road, actually during your entire life. That means that if you took care of your diabetes within the first 10 years, even if you lax and you slack and you don't do well down the road, you will still do much better compared to someone who totally ignored their diabetes, did not control it first 10 years, 
and then suddenly they have a complication, suddenly they hit the wall, and they say, okay, I'm gonna do something about it. That is too late, guys. Don't wait, because if you wait 10 years, the complications already settle in. You're already destined to have kidney problems, eye problems, neuropathy. Don't do that to yourself, okay? Make sure, make sure you take it seriously. It's your life. You know, patients with diabetes lose a lot of years in their lives. So statistically speaking, a patient with diabetes will lose eight years from their life. A patient with a heart attack in their history will lose 12 to 13 years from their life. A patient who already had a stroke will lose up to 20 years of their life. And we feel deeply sorry if something happens to our patients. So that's why at SugarMDs.com, we always, this is the reason we came up with this concept, that we have to help people manage their diabetes without going into so much burden, trouble. It is a burdensome disease. And what we are trying to do is to coach you, to help you, be there for you anytime you need us. Choose the best medications, fight with your insurance, whatever is necessary. Control your diabetes within the first 10 to 15 years max and then stay under control. And when you do that, you will be golden. Now, if you want to deep dive a little bit more into diabetes as a progressive disease, if your doctor tells you that you have to add medications because you already tried diet and exercise, you're doing your best and your A1C is going up, let your doctor do something about it. Uh, let your specialist do something about it. Okay, so do not just say, oh, like, give me another three months, give me another six months. These three months, six months add up, and then five years down the road, you remain with a high A1C. And that is the reason you are going to have complications. So diabetes is not going to reverse itself. You have a neuropathy, you have a pain in your feet, you cannot sleep at night. That's not going to be reversible. It's already done. So you need to make sure that you do everything it takes to not to go there there okay so let your doctor do whatever they need to do and of course i know your fears what if this medication cause problems what does this medication cause side effects you don't have anybody to talk to just call us at sugarmds.com we are going to tell you everything about these medications you have a question about the medication you call us we tell you what to do we change the medication if necessary we 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 do everything until we get it right until you are satisfied and until you're happy and and free of complications. Now, let's talk about the second complication, the second uh, fact that we talked about, which is um, the fact that patients die from cardiovascular causes. So there are a lot of actually ways in your diet and exercise, the medication choices that can reduce the cardiovascular risk and that is your main goal. As I said, two thirds of patients with diabetes die from cardiovascular complications. So you have to do something about it. Not just one thing, you sometimes have to do multiple things to get your risk really down. And there are ways around this, there are, we can discuss more about it. All you have to do, just get a free consult and we will lay out everything for you. The, the, the third thing we discussed is the legacy effect. So if you are currently an uncontrolled diabetic patient who are trying and failing the medications and you're not getting enough support, that is the time for you to call us. Call us at 1-800-644-EZMD. It's easy, just call us. Thank you very much for listening. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Now, as I said, we're always here for you and thank you for listening.